Well, voters have some big local races to decide a month from tomorrow, November 5th. We're going to head to the polls, but it turns out you can make your decision even earlier. While some places around the country have made it more difficult to vote, we are seeing the opposite here. Channel 2's Michael Wooten explains. Starting this year, it will be easier to vote here than ever before. That's because New York State will debut early voting. 38 other states have been doing this for years. Put simply, you'll have a nine day period when you can go cast a ballot prior to election day. And they don't have to have a reason. They can mm -hmm. just go in and vote early at those poll sites. This all starts three weeks from tomorrow. Early voting will go from Saturday, October 26th through Sunday, November 3rd. Everything will be closed the next day on the 4th and then actual election day is on the 5th. So where does this early voting happen? Well, that depends on your county. In four of our more rural counties, there's only one place where you can early vote. Every registered voter will have to go there. Niagara and Cattaraugus counties will have two early voting locations. You can go to either one. Same story for voters in Chautauqua County, but they'll have three locations to choose from. And then you have Erie County, which has gone above and beyond with 37 different early voting locations. Anyone in Erie County can go to any of those poll sites to um, vote early. Erie County's Board of Elections even put out a video explaining the early voting process. And this part is important because there are so many polling places and you can go to any one of them. You'll check in through an e-poll book. It's a computer with access to all the registered voter records in the county. The League of Women Voters says they are protected from hackers. Everyone is being very careful and, and there are systems in place to make sure that doesn't happen. The rest of the voting process in Erie County will be exactly as it's been in the past. After you check in, a worker will print your ballot, you'll fill it out, and then you'll place it into a machine as you've always done. We're not changing the way people are voting, we're changing the way that we're checking them in. Of course, you can only vote once, so either early or on election day. And while you have a lot of options on where to vote early, if you wait until November 5th, you must go to your assigned precinct. Now, the good news, county boards of elections will send out those postcards with all the voting information you need. And we have a ton more information posted on our website and app including links to all the early voting locations and when they'll be open. I'm Michael Wooten, Channel 2 News.